we have hope that Jesus is going to return again. He's gonna make everything right just the way it was in the garden again. And because of that, we can have peace in all sorts of circumstances. And because of that, we can have joy that's not tied to any emotions. See, Peter was able to write these words because he saw Jesus. He spent life with Jesus. We don't have that experience. We've put our faith and trust that Jesus came, lived, died, conquered the grave, and that he sent his Holy Spirit to empower us, to give us freedom. See, we haven't seen him, but we love him. Though not seen him, now you believe in him and you rejoice with inexpressible and glorious joy because you are receiving the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Yeah. See, the joy that Jesus' arrival represents isn't conditional or fleeting, it's enduring, it's unshakable. There's nothing that this world can throw at us. We have unshakable joy in our salvation with Jesus. Remember, joy is more of a state of being. It's something that we get to experience as followers of Christ, but we have to choose it. We have to choose joy, because we can choose to focus on these things that are happening around us, or we can choose to focus on Jesus and his return. 